guys so I am here with Maya I thought I would finally change her out of this outfit she's had it on for quite a while now I think this was for Disney Monday quite a while ago and I want to put her in to this um, cat and jack dress from Auntie Kristen so I had wanted to put it on her for Valentine's Day and I just didn't get a chance. But you know what? It's still Valentine's Day week. So better late than never. That's how I feel about that. <laughs> um, and so as I change her, I wanted to uh, take part in this tag that I saw a little while ago. Um, I just thought it was kind of a fun little tag to take part in. Um, and it was asking if you ever skipped school <laughs> and uh, I have to say yes yes I did and quite a bit <laughs> um, so let's go back to elementary school um, so as some of you may know, some of you may not if you're new, I was majorly bullied in elementary school. Um, I would say it started in kindergarten and went straight through to grade four. And then finally my mom had enough. I had enough. She, the teachers weren't doing anything to help the situation. So my mom pulled me out of that school and I moved to a new school and from that point on like grade five onward the bullying pretty much stopped. Um, I did have another bout of bullying happen when I was in high school with some girls that lived in my neighborhood um, and that was a little bit more frightening because they were threatening physical harm on me and the police had to get involved in all that stuff um but as for elementary school yes I was bullied a lot um and so when I was a child uh a lot of times I just did not want to go to school because I I didn't want to be bullied again um I was scared and so there was a lot there was not a lot but there were a few times that I faked being sick so that I could stay home from school um, because I just I was scared um, and then there was one day that I didn't even bother playing sick I just flat out told my mom I am not going to school I told her I am not going um, I refused to, I was crying and you know, she knew why I didn't want to. And so she didn't make me, she let me stay home that day. And she again was on the phone with my teacher trying to resolve, you know, things with the whole bully situation, but they didn't do anything. Um, also, when, when I was in elementary school, I think there was once or twice that my mom wanted to take me to um, a play. Um, I think the first one was actually Muppets Live, or not Muppets Live, I think it was Sesame Street Live. And being a single parent she could only afford the performances that were weekday matinees um so there was one day where she let me take the day off school so that i could go see this show with her and i think she did that one other time too for an actual like play or musical that we wanted to see and you know it was it's always cheaper to go to weekday matinees for these performances so she you know wrote me a note to get out of class um, 
for the day. I think she just told my teacher I had a doctor's appointment or something. <laughs> so that was, you know, those were the times that I, oh, she looks so cute. Oh, I had a feeling this, these bright colors would be nice on her. Um, yeah, so I, that was my first bit of skipping school, so to say. And then the next bout was in high school because once you turned a certain age or entered a certain grade in high school, and I can't forget, I can't remember which grade that was. Um, I wonder if these shoes will fit. They're pretty small. These are the ones that I got at Bye Bye Baby in Arizona. I'm not sure if they'll fit though. I might need to get her a different pair of shoes. For some reason, I thought they would fit. Oh, oh, there. Okay. They just fit. Um, yeah, so I don't remember which grade it was, but once I hit that grade where I could sign myself out of school, I did it. <laughs> several times um, and I think for the most part I did most of skipping school in my last year of high school I believe it was my last year of high school or maybe it was even yeah I think it was my last year um, and I almost failed a class because of it, um, because I had missed a class where the teacher had um, told us that we were going to have a test on a certain day. And then I believe I skipped class on the day of the test because I didn't realize we were having one <laughs> or something like that. I can't really remember exactly what it was, but I remember that I failed the exam for whatever reason and it almost cost me failing like the whole semester of that class. But, um, <laughs> but we had this, they introduced this class I don't even know if you would call it a class. It was, they introduced it halfway through my high school years. Um, and it was, uh, it was called mentor monitor period. And so what it was is, um, for one period a day, you were just in a whatever classroom <clears throat> whatever, excuse me, whatever classroom. Oh, there goes my voice again. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. Um, yeah, whatever classroom you were assigned to be in for Mentor Monitor, you had to go there, and it was basically a period where you could just work on your homework so that you wouldn't have as much to do when you get home. Um, which in theory that, that wasn't bad. I didn't mind it. You could also study for tests or whatever, <clears throat> but a lot of times I had already finished my homework and I had literally nothing to do. And the teacher that I happened to get this one year in particular, his theory was, well, if you don't have anything to do, I'll give you something to do. And, you know, no one wanted extra homework. No one wanted extra assignments for no reason. And so generally a lot of us would skip the class if um, we, you know, if we didn't have any work to work on in it. Um, you know, we were allowed to just read 
if that was something we wanted to do like if we didn't have work we were allowed to read a book um but a lot of times like we didn't want to um so a lot of times I would skip that class with my friends um sometimes my friends like some of my friends were in a different mentor monitor class and so we would make plans like if we didn't have anything to work on we would say okay we'll skip our class and we'll meet up somewhere in the school and hang out until our next period um <laughs> and so that's what we would do and really being you know young and stupid we stayed in the school <laughs> yeah we stayed in the school and hung out in a hallway or a stairwell. And one of the days, it just so happened that my teacher from that mentor monitor period, I was supposed to be in that day, uh, they had left the classroom and they found me in the hall. <laughs> And I got in trouble. I had to go to the, pr I got called to the principal's office. I think this was actually on my birthday too. I think that's what it was, is that my friends and I were like, ah, it's my birthday. I'm just going to go hang out. And I got called to the principal's office. Um, yeah. Um, so that happened there. And then one thing that we always had in our high school it was like a tradition um that the graduating class every year would have what we called senior skip day where all of the seniors that were graduating that year had the option to skip class for the day <laughs> and so in that instance it was like end of the year it was always on a day that was at the end of the year where we really had like we had finished all of our work you know those last days of school before summer vacation where there's literally nothing happening in your classroom like you might your teacher might just like play games like you might play games in the class or it's just tying up loose ends or whatever and like you've pretty much finished your work you finished your exams there's nothing else to do really um so it would be on a day like that and the teachers were well aware of it obviously because they're going to notice an entire senior class <laughs> missing. Now mind you, not every single senior did do it, um, which I never understood why they wouldn't jump on that bandwagon for, you know, that one day. But I took part in it and so me and a bunch of my friends um, and a lot of other people that I knew from the music theater program that I was in, we all went to the beach for the day and we hung out, we had a picnic and it was lots of fun. Um, and that was just kind of like, to me, that was just like a rite of passage in that instance, cause it's just, it was called senior skip day. Everyone was aware of it and we, every, almost everyone did it and took part in it. Um, so that's, that's what we did there. Uh, so yes, I, I skipped school many a time in my life, um, definitely, <laughs> but I, you know, I still worked hard, like, you know, even when I didn't skip, like, I still worked hard in school, and um, I did struggle with math and writing essays in English, um, and my mom, in high school, she did put me into a tutoring program. Um, called at the Sylvan Learning Center um, and that really really helped me like get my grades up in those um, areas but that had nothing to do with me like not putting in the work not putting in the effort it was just that I had trouble grasping how to do it like you know understanding the math problems and you know understanding how to structure an essay and what to write about um so that was like a huge help and I still remember uh I when I wrote my first 
essay after taking tutoring and I had improved a lot. My teacher, uh, she accused me of cheating. She accused me of having someone else write the essay for me because it had been such a big change from my last essay to this one. And I totally wrote it all on my own. I wrote it while I was at tutoring. Um, no one wrote it for me. No one told me what to write. I was just, you know, guided with the tutor on how to structure things. And, you know, it helped me improve. And my teacher accused me of cheating and called my mom for a meeting. And my mom was mad. She was livid. And, you know, she basically told my teacher off, which was fu quite funny. Um, and my teacher never uh, hassled me after that. But, um, yeah, that I'll never forget that because that just, I, cu like, I couldn't believe when she came, you know, to, it, she was handing everyone's essays back to them and she didn't hand mine back to me. And she said that she wanted to see me after class. And... I was like, what? <laughs> like, you know, I, I was one of those kids that I, I really didn't get, other than that time that I got called to the principal's office for skipping, I honestly, like, never got in trouble by any teacher, really. Not that I can recall, anyway. And so, <laughs> it was like, what? And then, you know, when she accused me of cheating, I was like, Oh my gosh, like, I felt so defeated and just, I remember that. So, yeah, but yeah, so I definitely skipped school um, throughout the years of being in school and yeah. <laughs> Anyways, here is Maya. I'm just going to back the camera up a bit so you can see all of her there. There she is. This dress fits her perfect. Sorry guys, my battery died. So I just changed it and I didn't feel like putting this back on the tripod just to end the video. Excuse me. So there she is. She looks so cute. Like I said, um, I just think these bright colors look awesome on her. I love this little dress from Cat and Jack. Say thank you, Auntie Kristen. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching, and we will see you next time. Bye, guys.